How's it going, mates? This is Mr. Charles. We're back with Clanad, the visual novel you can find on Steam and buy for a bit. I mean, I could do the link in the description down below thing now, but I'm not going to do that. And we're on the Rio Fujibayashi playthrough. We're, we're dealing with this girl now, although, to be fair, I still got to get through all the nitpicking. I still got to get rid of all the bits I've already seen a million times, but the game insists I haven't seen. So that's going to be good. I mean, at least I got to see what happens if you don't mess with Tsunara's tape, but. Wasn't really revealing or anything, it just made him a bit more of a dick to me. But anyway, previously we started off the Rio Fujibayashi timeline. Now we're going to continue into it a bit more, but I imagine there's not going to be much happening for a bit until like maybe episode 4 5, I'd guess. I'd guess, but then you know, I don't know the game that well yet. Anyway, April 16th, decision to make here, talk to the old lady. Now I have already done that, and the game skipped that for me. Now I need to press for details for some reason, I've already done that. Probably some important details there that I need to actually think about, but why well, I skipped it all. Alright, um, I need to stay in class. Already done that as well. My locker. Okay, this apparently is important to the Rio timeline. Even though we skipped Rio, we skipped her sister Kyo, but we're dealing with Sunahara. This is important, apparently. My locker. Is that so? What? <laughs> that, that was a conversation. It wasn't really a real conversation, was it? Alright, fine. Yeah, don't need any of that. Yep, motorbike bit. That was an annoying bit. Yep, deep. Wow, this is really skipping quick now. Alright, so I need to waste time outside the school. And then... She leaves by... Okay, so now the game's going quite quickly for some reason. I've also got my date stamp back, which is nice. Uh, fortune telling uses cards. Yes. So she's not. he's not going to be a perv and ruin her. Uh, go back to class. Yep, still skip. Wow, this is a little, maybe I will get it done in episode two then. But maybe I'll try, I will actually start the story at episode two. Right, 19th. I need to go straight home. When does the important decision start then? Uh, ignore him. Uh, so apparently I'm meant to be late. Okay, this is different, because I do remember we normally go to class on time just by being depressed or tired or whatever. I'll take this one last year easy. I laze around for another hour. Was that it? There's nothing else changed. So I'm part of the school. Okay, no, something's different. The sun is shining down on me as always. Anyone wearing the same uniform is nowhere to be found. It's a very familiar scene. I wonder how many more times will I get to see this? Actually, just what will I be doing a year from now? Hmm. Vroom, vroom. Oh, is this going to be Kyo? Something is coming toward me from behind. Uh, jump to... The, well, I don't know why these would matter, but I'm going to jump to the right. Ha! I dodge the pressure that's creeping up from behind me. Swoosh. A familiar long-haired girl flies by where I once stood. That's Kyo, isn't it? That's our girl. Well, not the girl we're going to do this episode, but, you know, she's going to be the next one, probably. I mean, it has to be the Fujibashi's one after the other. Perhaps it's just my imagination, but I think I heard a t as she passed by. Then, the next moment... Oh. Wham. What happened? The person walking in front of me is sent flying into the air. H who was that? For real? Kyo hit somebody with a... B oh! Oh, shit! Sorry! Apologize for me, okay? What? You're out of your mind! Vroom, vroom! Sounds of her bike's tailpipe grow farther and farther away. She actually drove off. The person she hit is lying on the ground, not moving an inch. Fifthly, I approach. Oh, damn. Now I feel better that I, I got hit. Hey, you still alive? Like, oh, sorry, I got hit like the last time I did this. Because I remember getting hit and then she just being an absolute bitch. I mean, Kyo is a little bit of a bitch, but, you know, I can deal with that. That's be one of them, right? In the, in the game. The person lying on the ground does not respond. This isn't good. When an acquaintance commits a crime, it is better to convince her to turn herself in. Or would it be better if I just kept my mouth shut since there are no other witnesses? Now, nah, perhaps for the best, I just pretend this never happened and uh, walk away. So I meant to leave, but I've got to admit, that's a bit concerning. Alright, bye. What a pain. Count me out. It's not like anyone witnessed it. And even if they did, I'm not the culprit. Mommy, there's someone on the ground there. Oh, you're right. I wonder if the student over there knows who it is. Crap, none of our witnesses. Hey, you. You okay? Answer me. I kneel down and lightly shake the motionless victim by the shoulder. It's quite slender. Could she be a girl? Hey? Twitch. Oh, did I see movement? Hey, you okay? Try checking once again, and... Oh! Right, I've actually seen this character art, but I thought they were a guy. 
Oh, you're much more attractive as a girl. Pop. Wah! Whoa! What's going on? What was that just now? You're alive? It felt like there was suddenly a wham! Then I was sent snippet spinning! And then I heard a screech and then everyone went black! Uh, you were hit by a motorcycle. By a bike? The victim's head tilts to the side with a mystified expression. There's no way that's a female! That's 100% male! It has a willy! It has to have a willy! I'm not judging the haircut or anything, it's just that it looks so masculine. Is this a girl? A guy? Doesn't look like there are any boobs. But the atmosphere and vibe that this person gives off feels rather strange. Oh, maybe there's a trans story in this. That'd be quite cool. Oh, again? The victim says as their hands clap together, as if remembering what happened. Wait, again? These kind of things do happen once in a while, no? It would have been a problem if it was a car, but I can handle a bike. You can handle that? You were sent flying, you know? After you... Are, are you feeling alright? Yeah, nothing really feels out of place. I see, that's great then. By the way, what time is it? Mm, it's past 10. Whoa, this isn't good. I'll be late for my interview for the part-time job. Uh, hey! Before I could finish, the victim suddenly sped off. Rather quickly, too. I wonder if that person is going to be fine. Was it because they collided at just the right angle? Or is it just because that person is very robust? In any case, it seems Kyo got out of this one without becoming a criminal, thank God. Even so, what a lively person. And at that aside, thanks to a person whose name I don't know who had disappeared at the corner. Suddenly, I noticed a white envelope when I looked down at the ground. Is this that person's... I look around, but no longer see anyone. In any case, I pick it up. On the corner of the envelope is the word resume and... Oh, dear. That reminds me, that person did say they were going to an interview. But if that's the case, wouldn't it be problematic that they don't have this? Even so, I have no idea where they could be. So it's not like I can give it back. That being the case, it would also make me feel bad to just leave something like a resume there. Oh, okay, so I meant to tear it up and throw it away. Oh, no. I kind of want to see where this goes. No, if the game says tear it up, I'm going to tear it up. Tear, tear. Starting from the corner, I ripped the piece of paper into shreds. That's just heart rendering. Then I tossed the flakes of paper into the gutter on the side of the Yeah, I don't care about this guy's future. I mean, it, it's kind of a bad thing. He didn't die, to be honest. He deserves to be you know, forgotten and dead and lost. Okay, guess I'll go now. Couldn't you have just, like, thrown it? You know, did you need to rip it? Okay, whatever. Alright, so that's the last decision of the 21st. So can I skip all this? Okay, just when I reach school, the bell rings for the second time. Oh, the, the bell for the end of second period rings, sorry. Sorry, I'm just trying to get over the fact that we don't care about that person. Ah, Tomia, how was that, how was that the person I hit? I don't know. You have some nerve to ask me that. Yeah, no injuries, right? No injuries, but what would you do if they were, there were? Oh, it's okay. That feeling I got when we collided was different. Feeling? Yeah, how should I put it? You know that heavy feeling when you crash into flesh and bones? There was none of that. Maybe that person did something to reduce the impact. Might be an expert at it or something. Yeah, he, he gets hit by a motorbike as a profession. I think we can say you are quite out of the ordinary yourself to know how it feels when you crush flesh and bones with your bike. Yeah, that's probably going to be a bit of backstory investigated later. Even if that were the case, don't you think it's more of a moral problem for you to run away like that? Yeah, she doesn't fucking care. Well, if you weren't there, I would have stopped. Well, that's even worse. Hell, I was actually going for you anyway. That is quite a disturbing thing to say. Yeah, it's not surprising. She's a, she's a psycho bitch. I mean, don't get me wrong. I kind of wouldn't mind doing a little um, dating scenario with Kyo. But I'm more interested in unraveling her because she's, she's got that interesting aura about her, you know? Okay. Mm. Could it be that she found out what happened to Botan on Saturday? Oh, didn't he get lost or something? Oh, I don't know. Well, nothing happened in the end, no? It all went okay then? Kyo says that she laughs and then throws something at me. What's this? Fruit milk. We'll call that my thanks in any case. Drink it as you spend 10 minutes feeling grateful. You're telling me to feel grateful for your thanks? Also, if you're offering your thanks, don't say in any case. Giving you a juice pack is my thanks. Now, since I picked your tasty one, you should be feeling grateful, no? With a smile on her face, she explains her absurd logic. I let out a deep sigh and raise my hand anyway to express my gratitude. I mean, she does have a weird way of being nice, but no, I like it. I mean, as long as she doesn't, you know, kill me. Definitely wouldn't like her as a friend, but... Eh, she's alright. Alright, dots. 
Uh, can I skip this? Yes, I can. All right, on to the next day. Maybe I can still make it to the Rio bit. Uh, okay, 20 seconds, so. Uh, this is when, um, when you meet, when you see this guy again, how can you brighten the day? React to finding me. Start by reacting to seeing me. That's what you're missing. You want me to react? Like how? There are plenty of ways, such as... Huh? Oh, it's you, Okazaki. It's been a while. How are you? I'm doing good, too. Something like that. Oh, that does sound like something a person would say if they suddenly saw you. Okay, I'll do that next time. So, lunch from the cafeteria again today. Wouldn't mind eating out if you pay for me. We've done that. Okay. Uh, I listen to Sunohara go on like an idiot for the rest of lunch. Okay. It's now the class after lunch. Wow, it was that literally just that one line I needed to see. Dear Lord. Right, looking after her again. I don't know what happened there. I guess we had a sword fight with a pig. Right, take him for now. We did that, and then like, he almost moves, but he doesn't. But if we gave it to Kyo, then the thing would have moved, apparently. Uh, back with my dear Kyo. New day. Tomia! Don't just yell my name like that. Are you still in grade school? Well, let's not worry about that. I've got something funny to tell you. I'm definitely on the right playthrough here, aren't I? Yeah, I am on Rio, but I'm getting more attention from Kyo. Bit curious, that's all. That's why I've got something to tell you. What is it? Come with me for a bit. This way. And she fucking, like, gets a knife out and stabs me. Wouldn't put it past her. She waves a hand at me, beckoning me over. But where are we going? Which coloured house are we going to? I need to stop with the Balmori references. I want to go to the bathroom. Let's make it later? I thought, I thought that was a suggestion then. That doesn't really matter now, does it? Yeah, you can pee later. Pee your pants. It does. It really does matter. I'll be right back, okay? Just wait for me. Well, I'll talk while we walk. Are you going to, like, follow me into the restroom and be like, hmm, is that your your penis that you're using there? She says and walks beside me. The girl's following me to the bath. Yeah, I am a bit concerned about that. I don't want my willy sucked, like, from... I mean, she'll probably bite it. She's trying to run me over. She can't care about my well-being. Feels kind of weird... So what is it? I slow my pace not to ask her. Yeah, take a look at this. Saying so, she pulls something out of her shirt pocket. It's a pretty normal white envelope. Okay. There's no address, addressee written on it. But there is a dog sticker on its flap. What about it? What do you think it is? Isn't it a letter? Well, yeah, but what kind of letter do you think it is? What do you mean? What do you think is written inside? Why are you asking? What is this? The Spanish Inquisition? Who knows? You want me to tell you, right? Well, I, I'm pretty sure Tomoya doesn't want you to. I, I suppose I'm kind of curious. If you want to tell me, just tell me. Jeez, you're no fun. This is... Ah. Come on, I was just about to get to the good part. Are you going to continue to follow me? Eh? Yeah. We're at the bathroom already. Ah. The male students who just walked out of the bathroom are looking at Kyo with an astonished expression. It's not very lady like Kyo, but, you know, something tells me you'd make a better boy than girl. Well, of course they would. Y you should have told me earlier. I'll listen to you complain later. Just let me go in already. So take your time. But I want to know what's in the letter now. Phew. After I finish my business, I let out a sigh of relief for some reason. Still, I wonder what Kyo wanted to show me. It did look like a letter, but it wasn't addressed to anyone, and it couldn't be the letter from before because we ripped that one up. Could it be for me? Well, a bit, a bit out of nowhere. Okay. I bet it's one of those chain letters. If not, then a letter of challenge. Man, now I'm a little scared of leaving the bathroom. Perhaps I should just stay in here until the bell rings. Hey, there's a weird girl standing outside the bathroom. Yeah, she's even peeking inside, isn't she? Could she be a pervert? If we let her be, is she going to come inside? Men wouldn't, like, complain about that. They'd be like, yes, please. Ooh. But, you know, apparently these men are a bit strange. A bit, you know, asexual. That's creepy. If you say so. It sounds like it could be fun. So let's stay in here until the bell rings. Hey, why has that guy been in here this whole time? Yeah, and he's leaning against the wall with his arms crossed. Is he going to beat somebody? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a delinquent. That's my job, I guess. That's scary. What the hell are you staring at, huh? Uh, he's here to track our money and he's looking for someone easy to pick on. Run! But wait up, I'm not done yet. Damn it. <laughs> what was he picked up like halfway through a poo? Damn it, I picked the wrong place to kill time. Ding dong. Okay, guess it's about time to head outside. A few minutes after the bell has rung, I stop leaning against the wall and leave the restroom. 
All right, that's messing with... And there we go. Well, now we've really messed things up for ourselves. Hey, you! Whoa! Just how long does it take you to use the bathroom? Geez, you're still here? I was waiting for you. Class has started already. I know that. It's your fault that you dozed off inside. Well, it can't be helped, can it? Things that come out are going to come out. Not that anything was coming out. Uh, however, I didn't expect her to keep waiting even after the bell had rung. In this case, I guess it's more likely that it's a challenge instead of being a chain letter. <laughs> Good. So what now? About what? Class has started, you know. Well, she lets out a deep breath and her hand reaches for her pocket. Let's... What? I mean, I know she's a rebel, but why are you interested in what's changed? Is it because I, like, saved you from being a criminal? Eh? I said let's ditch class. Aren't you the class president? Haha, <laughs> that doesn't matter. <laughs> Who fucking cares, right? So like that means I have to have, I have to have to be a honest student who has good grades and outstanding conduct. Besides, in the worst case, don't they just pick by lottery? Rio is a fine example. Well, I, I guess. But why would it be two sisters? That seems a bit suspicious, doesn't it? That two classes and Fujibayashi sisters are like president of each of them, you know? Aren't they? So that's why it's fine. So come with me for a bit. Hmm? Kira smiles and points to the stairs with her thumb. Or like like backwards, maybe? Okay. I thought she was going to like, oh, look over there. That'd be a bit of a weird way of pointing with her thumb. So what the hell is the situation here? If I knew this would happen, I would have just come out of the bathroom and looked at her letter. Okay, let's hurry. Hmm? Alright. So I am meant to follow her. But I think I'm going to end the episode here. And next time we'll find out what the fuck Kyo wants. And how this relates to getting with Ryo. I mean, I'm sure like, Kyo must lead us to her. But like, well, we're kind of leading away from Ryo right now. We're kind of like not going to class and talking to her. But then maybe it'd be a bit strange if we tried doing that. Because, you know, she doesn't know us that well. Although we do fortune, so you'd think that'd be enough. But anyway, if you want to play the game for yourself and see where Kyo leads us to, there'll be a link to the game in the description down below. And without further ado, Lupus Crunch, until next time. See ya!